front row show is back, baby. We're in the Yarrow River in Melbourne, getting ready for Super Round. And Mel Kawa, our new co-host. I'm so stoked to be here. I mean, I'll try and do Geo justice, but um, yeah, absolute pleasure to be here with you. Oh, you'll be way better than Geo. <laughs> Andy, it is a absolutely perfect day. We're here on the banks of the Yarra in Melbourne and I thought, why don't we go for a bit of a boat ride? I heard you got your boat licence. Yeah, I've done a bit of boating, yeah. There's like uh, a big rowing culture here, so you'll see um, the sheds up there, regatta. And yeah, just a great way to see the city. You've got your iconic Flinders here on the left and I'll show you some of the, the G. The, uh, the G looks glorious from the Yarra. Does it? Yeah. What's Flinders? We're on in? Here. Yeah, watch your step, go ahead. Legs first. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And who's oh. going to be the first driver? This I'll is your captain. Yeah, I've, I've got a captain's hat oh. for you, if you like. <laughs> so make, it, well. make it official. Oh, that won't fit over my head. You might not so. get this back. How good is this? Oh, that's a nice Raider Knots, that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is that what <laughs> Raider you Knots? Raider Knots? Yeah, no. <laughs> How lovely. I feel like giving everyone the Queen's wave or the Munna wave. Hey Andy, you know that surprise I was telling you about earlier? It's coming up here on the right. Hey Felix! <laughs> Good, bro. A bit thirsty actually. What's going on here? Thank you. One grapefruit margarita, virgin margarita. <laughs> For Andy Ellison, thank you. That's wonderful. Thanks Felix. Oh, a bit of Melbourne hospitality for you, there you go. Yeah, so I'm loving being in Melbourne so far. Mmm. <laughs> hey, thanks mate. No worries. Great That's start. the least I can do. What a way to celebrate Super Round, honestly. Welcoming everyone to the city. It's going to be a great weekend. Did you grow up here? No, I actually... I grew up in Papua New Guinea and then I moved to Australia when I was about 14. So it was a big change. And I found rugby when I was 21. Yeah, I actually started playing when you started, I think you got your All Blacks debut, somewhere around then. So you were one of the first names I ever knew. Is that right? Yeah. And you just started playing? Yeah. Oh, cheers to that. So thank you, yeah. Well, it's going on now. Don't do the math. Don't do the math. But it's been a while. Um, but I've chased rugby around the world because, you know, I fell in love with it. So I've been to uh, the US. I was in New York, much like yourself recently. And then I also, I saw that you and Gio spent a lot of time in France for the World Cup. Yeah, how did you like that? Yeah, loved it. Um, actually, we did a river boat cruise similar to this. Um, I don't think I'll ever go on a boat again with Gio. You're, you're a far better help. Thank you. Um, I bet you Gio didn't get you no um, mocktails. <laughs> no, he certainly didn't. In fact, he got us a whole lot of weed stuck in the propeller. That's what he got. Because um, you, you spent some time in France what, and played in Montpellier? That's right, that's right, yeah. I absolutely loved it. I mean, you saw what the French are like. Obsessive. They can be all on you or all against you, but you ride that wave. And I, I really enjoyed that. It was a big challenge though, the language. and But I liked learning Northern Hemisphere rugby. And then is that when you, after that, you rolled back to Australia? And is then that when you played for the Reds? It, it, yeah, I played for the Reds for a couple of years growing up. That's why I sort of learnt rugby in yeah. Brisbane. I was really lucky enough to go to, or play for one of those clubs that was really about um, winning, winning cultures at, at UQ Rugby Club there. But then I found myself coming to Melbourne and I realised the rugby community here is so tight. It reminded me of like playing for like a real small club and I've enjoyed it for the last five years. And I'm still playing, yeah, at the Rebels, hopefully this one last season or something. Um, and yeah, hopefully we go right. I, I'm really loving playing rugby in Melbourne. Eddie, how are you, mate? Good, good. Thanks how for coming and having a chat. Yeah. How's things? How are you uh, feeling? Not too bad, I think, but better than three weeks ago. Uh, broken jaw. So hopefully another four weeks to go and back in playing. But you didn't need to get it operated on, which is a good thing? Nah, so quite lucky. So ten weeks, went from ten weeks down to six or seven. And do you feel like you've lost a couple of kgs not having to eat? Yeah, oh, it's probably a good thing. Oh, I've lost two <laughs> kgs. So. Have you actually? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Help keep the skinnies down. Yeah. And you can keep running and stuff like that too? Yeah, I just started back running this week, so yeah, back into it. The match coming up against the Rebels, bit of a grudge match as always, but um, how are you approaching that one with the, a, a really well-recruited side for 2024 yeah they've got a stacked side and it's uh it's always a spicy sp uh, fixture against the rebels when we come up against them so it should be the same tomorrow night but uh we're just focusing on sort of what we can improve from last week was obviously our set piece our defense um because our attack was pretty good so if we can fix up those two things and you know their set piece is going to be dangerous who they've got uh in their pack tomorrow hey, mate. great to see you mate and thanks for joining us on the front row daily show 
Um, I actually played rugby with Will in my last season at New York, so um, we get to know each other pretty well. Um, and even though we played together for a whole year, he still hasn't bought me a beer. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> um, how are you? How's, how's the injury? You, you starting to feel a bit better now? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. No, I've been running two or three weeks now, so starting to hopefully reintegrate a little bit next week, a little bit of team training, which will be nice. Um, but yeah, still about a month away. Five and, weeks, and you yeah. actually had an, had an operation on, on it? You tore the... Yeah, yeah, tore the plantar plate, so had to have that reattached. Um, but yeah, nah, going good now. Speak. We, we, we don't get too awkwardly close, though, is that about right? Yeah. We can get a cuddle. It's my arm. It's my, <laughs> it's my arm okay like that. It's, it's like a, That's good, so, mate. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Great yeah, to see you, brother. Good to see you too, my brother. And even better to see you back in a rugby jersey. Thank you very much, bro. It's been a wee while, but uh, I'm excited, man. How's it been, mate? How's the, it's how's been a long the, journey. The journey back, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long journey. A uh, couple of hiccups along the way, um, but since my last surgery, and I think it was like July, things actually moved um, pretty well and progressed nicely. Um, I've played a couple games now and hopefully be available to play top side next week, so it's exciting. Oh, that's good. And you've just had a new baby too, so yeah, you've got heaps of time there helping Yeah, out. so we've got a, a new baby boy as well, um, which has been a big transition too. Um, but being at home and being able to be there for uh, my wife through pregnancy and through the early parts of uh, baby's birth has been good too. And is that time, like, has that made you excited about coming back again or are you sort of ready to... It definitely has. Um, I've been well, I've been playing the game 13, 14 years now. Um, and that I, long? And I, yeah, <laughs> it's been well way, <laughs> um, which is like it's a blessing and I love it. Um, but being having the game taken away from me for 15 months has maybe given me like a new love for it and like a new appreciation for how privileged and how much I do actually cherish this game. That's cool, man. And does it, does that help? I mean, do you want to wear that black jersey again as well? 100%, bro. Like, I have massive aspirations to uh, to play for the All Blacks again and to, to represent our country. It's um, the pinnacle of the game um, in my in my eyes, playing for playing for the All Blacks, and uh, to be able to get back there would be awesome. Um, obviously, my first focus is now are to, to play well for the Hurricanes and to, to help us win a Super Rugby Championship, but um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't um, aspiring to be an All Black. And you look like you're in a, a good space. You've Bodies isn't great, great neck. <laughs> Have you ever been in better shape? Um, I don't think so. No, yeah. no, I don't. I think I'm probably in the best condition I've been, been in in my career. And I think I've had 15 months to, <laughs> to get myself you'd into that. So. Yeah. yeah, you'd hope I, I'd be in pretty good condition. So I've had a really good, um, I guess, medical team around me. Uh, my physio, uh, Nick, uh, who's done most of the work with me, she's been... Uh, she's been awesome throughout this journey and I owe a lot to her. Um, our trainers throughout the Lions, um, All Blacks and um, the Hurricanes have all um, committed a lot of time to me um, and, I, and I thank them for, for allowing me to get to where I am now. And I don't realise but you've got your nephew living with you that's also playing for the Hurricanes. Yeah bro I do which is um, which has been awesome for me like it's to have my nephew um, live with me and I drive to training with him every day and we're working together every day and to see him in the early part of his professional career um, it, it gives me so much motivation to continue to try and be the best that I can be to like be the example for my nephew oh man this is this is what we have to do in order to get to where we want to get to it doesn't mean you're going to make it just because you work the hardest doesn't mean you're always going to be the best or whatever but it gives you a really good opportunity to get to where you want to go to yeah one it's the highlight of my career so far but two the motivation wow. i have to continue to be the best is is a big um credit to him yeah, you must be proud do you see yourself in him i do yeah i do i'm not, definitely not as talented as he is <laughs> i wasn't he's like he's bigger he's faster stronger he's got all of that but his um, application to want to work hard and to get better is something that has really been the foundation of my career and I see that in him. I see him continually trying to get better and like asking questions on oh, how do I do that, why do we do this, why am I doing that and so that he can understand why he's working hard in certain situations and that's um, it's a really proud moment when I when I see that. Uh, who, is, who is it? His name's Rion Paul, Rion, uh, yeah. midfield. He plays for um, the Bay of Plenty at the moment is with us um, and he's going good man, it's, it's been cool to see. Hopefully I'd love to get out there and play um, topside together with him 
and that'd be a, a really cool moment. Um, and just continue to be a part of his sort of journey is um, is exciting for me. Oh, good on you, mate. And a built-in babysitter. Yeah, exactly. Okay, right. Yeah, he's a landscaper before he was a professional rugby player as well. And we've got a little bit to do on our house, so <laughs> that's what he has to pay for rent as he has to get out to do the landscaping. <laughs> oh, hey, TJ, thanks heaps for your time, mate. It's so nice to see you again. Cheers, we, we've been through the battles we have, for, for we years have. together, so it's nice soon, to actually sit down and have a chat, brother. Cheers, bro. There's always something with these nines, eh? With nines and wanting to kick. We uh, we do. I, I kind of feel like I could have always been a goal kicker, but I just never got the chance. Well, you got this one chance, right? <laughs> Show us what you got. Wow. And that's what we do at training. <laughs> right, they did. All right, All right, mate. What do you got? Um, well, how are you enjoying being back in New Zealand and and getting stuck into the Blues? Yeah, really enjoying it. Yeah, I'm enjoying the boys. Uh, work hard. Uh, there's some good players and there's some good young guys. There's a good mix of talent and effort, and uh, it is really good being back with people that um, have the same instinctive, you know, notion of the game. After being away in foreign cultures, it's um, yeah, and they they're good at taking the piss and they're, they're good fun. I couldn't help but last week that first game. It feels like the Blues have sort of got a bit of a, a physical kind of edge. Is that something you've driven here? Oh, well, it's a physical game, so you can't you can't expect to play touch in 15 v 15, and you know, and go right to the end. And if you look at the Crusaders and what they've done over the years, or other teams that have been successful, I mean, if you look at Toulouse and France, everyone says they were a great team. They could play the ball and move the space. They only did it because they won the collisions, had a good forward pack. So I think you know you've just got to be realistic about it. Yeah, it looked it just looked direct, it looked physical and, and it gave the back space to score some of those tries from last week. Yeah. Well that'll be the key because we've got some good boys that can they like space and we've just got to create it. And rugby's still about space at the end of the day, isn't it? A good challenge against the Highlanders too, who are also a quite a physical kind of pack and they, they're gonna be coming at yeah. you guys there. They I hop- bet you guys love that, eh you Fords? They um they hopped on the they're on the same plane as us yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some stern looks going up and down the walking up and down getting your seats. I had Ethan the group next to me, which I thought was quite good. I nearly had him sign for the Blues next year, but I couldn't quite get it over the line. He was sitting next to you? Yeah, they had him next to me. So, so I had <laughs> Paul Tito on one side. I was in the middle, and then Ethan on the other side there. So, Hey, um, thanks for coming and chatting to us, mate. I haven't seen you since you coached me back in the Crusades. Way back, way back. Way yes, back, mate. yeah. But anyway, we'll... Yeah. You look a bit younger. Yeah, no, nah, that's a lie, mate. France. Thanks, mate, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You're looking sharp, and I'm looking younger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck tomorrow. So, do I not really look? Is that what, he's, is that, what that meant? Oh, 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 oh,